Hi guys, it's Nancy and I'm back with my second video playing with the gel press. If you're not well aware, gel press sponsored us for the last Stamp Wars. I'll link that video for you. I've already done a video making some backgrounds using stamps and stencils and alcohol inks with the gel press. And these are the backgrounds that I came up with. So I'll uh, post that video for you guys to also check out. But I promised a video using Pan Pastels. And here is the look that I got from Pan Pastels. And it's a little more vintage look to me. This looks like wallpaper, like vintage wallpaper. This was using the Newton's Nook pumpkin stencil. But today we're going to play with um, Pan Pastels. And I have the 6x6 gel press already stuck to my desk. And over here on the side is the um, acetate that protects the gel press. In case you didn't know, you don't need to keep that. So I've kept mine to use it as a paint palette. Um, and we're going to be using this stencil. This is a nice autumn leaf fall leaves stencil from Hero Arts. I will link it down below for you guys. And I thought it would be fun to put some colors down. So have my clean gel press stuck to my desk. And I just put my stencil down. And of course, you can just stencil what right on paper. But I just think it's a cool different look using um, the pan pastels. So here are the pan pastels. I'm going to be using these warm colors, red, oranges, yellows. Let me grab one of my soft tools here to kind of blend it in. Too big. Let's find one a little smaller. And I only have gloves on because I was playing with alcohol inks. You certainly don't need to have gloves on, but they're already on. All right. So I'm going to take uh, this soft tool and I'm just going to go into the various colors. And this is all I'm going to do. No rhyme, no reason. Just sponge some of that color in through the stencil. I do kind of want to push it up into the little nooks and crannies and crevices of the stencil. And I'm going to add some orange. That was diary, diary Lied Yellow. This is orange. You can layer it on top of each other. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ochre. A little bit of this darker red, I forget what this is. I think it's called Red Iron Oxide. Permanent Red Shade. I was way off. I think Iron Oxide is a brownish color, which we might add later. And again, just tapping that color in until I see that everything is covered. And because the gel press is sticky, it just takes that pan pastel like... No problem. Sometimes when we're using stencils with ink, the ink so, you know, kind of goes down underneath the stencil a little bit. Well, this is just sitting right where it's sticky, okay? So once we have our stencil fully covered, we're going to lift it up. Oh, that's pretty already, just like that. And set that aside. And we're going to use just plain white acrylic paint. And I said I used the little acetate piece there. Move some of my tools out of the way here. And I'm just going to squirt some paint down. Just use the acetate to brayer that paint. And you can use any color paint you have. I like white because I think the contrast, it shows better. We want to fully lift and push until we cover that brayer in paint. And then all the way across. All the way across. Okay, and we just need a nice, light, thin coating of paint. Oh, this is going to be really pretty. Okay. And I bought some paper. Look, I even put a note on here. 
don't buy text weight. I bought the wrong weight of paper. So this is matte coated printer paper, which is a really thin paper, um, which is, it's okay, but it's super thin. So I was like, you know what? I bet this would transfer nicely. So I'm going to use this, put it down on my gel plate. And it is, you do not have to wait for, um, you know, your paint to dry. If it's slightly tacky, it's best. I think if it's too wet, it doesn't work, and if it's too dry, it doesn't work. So in somewhere in between, you just want to give it a few seconds to just start to get tacky, and that's where a nice thin layer works. But with Pan Pastels, they're a dry medium, um, so you don't have to wait for them. Okay, let's see how this works. I think this is going to stick nicely on here. I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to look. Are you guys getting a sneak peek there? All right, so gave us that same, it's like vintage wallpaper look. It's very kind of grungy. I think it's so pretty. Look at those colors. Let's see if we can get another print on this side. Let's see if I can get a two for here. And I'm not using heavy paper. That's what's nice about the gel press is you really don't need anything special. That's why it's a fun mixed media tool because artists of all kind like it with paint, with alcohol inks, with inks, regular re-inkers, with markers, um, the pan pastels, chalk. Um, so there's a lot of different mediums you can use it for. And it's the same thing. You can use thin paper. You can use watercolor paper. You can use thicker paper. Um, I just, like I said, happened to have this paper and was not doing real well with it. So I thought I would use it. Okay, so the second print didn't pull up. But we can see that there's still pan pastel on there. So I think if we just add some paint, the paint will reactivate it and pull it up. So let's try that. I think I have two sheets of paper here. No, it's just one. And this is dry. Like, I can stamp on this now. I can um, <laughs> die cut it, whatever I need to do. My gel press is obviously very sticky. But we have this beautiful vintage look to it print. Okay, so let's put some more paint on here. Let's see. The paint is not dry yet. It's getting there, and it's starting to get clumpy. So I might want to clean my brayer and add new paint. I think I am going to do that. So I just have some Clorox wipes here. And it's just acrylic paint, you guys, so it will clean up fairly easily. I did not clean my brayer last time, so it has alcohol ink and paint on it. But as you can see, the Clorox wipe is taking that all off. And I just want to get all that dried paint off of there because otherwise it's going to make... Um, kind of chunky pieces in our paint. And I, I'm not that mixed media. Okay, and you can see my brayer's a little stained from the alcohol inks. Again, it doesn't hurt anything. I can go in with some um, isopropyl alcohol and clean that off of there if it bothers me. All right, let's clean. Let me clean my little makeshift palette here. Again, all I want to do is just get some of that dry paint off of there because I don't want it to get clumpy and bumpy. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to squirt some more paint down. And you don't need a whole bunch. Just a little bit. I'm just going to dry my brayer with my little towel here. All right. Nice thin coat. I see. I see that dried up paint stuck in there.
And if you go watch the Stamp Wars video, um, have a giveaway on Stamp Wars. And I'm going to do a giveaway on here as well. So I want to know, what is your favorite thing to do with the gel press? So um, in Stamp Wars, I asked a different question. But on here, I want to know, for those of you that do have the gel press, what are your favorite techniques? What do you like to use with the gel press? So obviously, like I said, we've done um, with alcohol inks. I've used stencils. I've used stamps. I know you can use embossing folders. I'm using pan pastels. Um, but I want to know what is your favorite medium to use? What do you use? What do you do with your gel press? Um, I'm just curious as to, you know, I know there was a lot of people new to gel press on stamp wars, but I know there was a lot of people that have gel press. So those of you that already have it and play with it, what do you like to do with your gel press? So answer that question down in the comments and I will pick a winner to send a wonderful prize from gel press. All right, so here we are again taking what they call the ghost print or the second print. And all we did was we used that same pan pastel and just reactivated it by adding some more white paint. And you can see we got our second print. So the first print is obviously more defined, more color. I have to remember to stop sticking that to that. <laughs> and then here is the second one. Do we dare see if we can pull a third one? Because I still see a lot of pan pastel on there. Should we try to get a third one, guys? Why not? We're here. We have a little bit of paint left on our brayer. Let's see how many prints we can get out of pan pastels. All right. For this one, I am going to use the same piece. I'm going to use the other side here. See all that dry paint coming off the brayer. So all of this is dried paint, and I'll just have to go clean my brayer and get all that off of there. Nope, looks like two is going to be it. It started to pull up, but I don't think I had enough paint on the on the gel press. So I'm actually going to take that up to the sink, clean it up with some warm soapy water. So hopefully you found another use for the gel press if you have some pan pastels. Again, if you have chalks, you could have done the same thing. But try it out. I have two videos for you guys, plus the Stamp Wars video. Linked down below will be everyone who participated in Stamp Wars, including gel press. Um, they brought their creative director, Cheryl, out to play with us, and it was a lot of fun. And check out Simon Hurley as well. Simon Hurley was supposed to be our guest, but he had the flu, so he was down. But of course, we have Chow, we have Tracy, we have Stacy and we have T from Not Afraid of uh, Not Afraid of Color, and we have all these videos so that if you are intimidated by your gel press, recommend you guys get it out, play with it, have a lot of fun. Um, there is no wrong way to play with a gel press. Just keep your exacto knife away from it, keep heat away from it. But you can see. Again, a lot of different mediums can be used. So I hope you had fun. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. And I will link the other gel press video and stamp wars at the end for you guys if you want to go check those out. Answer down below what is something you like to use or something you like to do with your gel press. I am curious as to how you guys are playing along at home. And don't forget to go watch the other videos and comment so that you can win a prize. Thanks for watching, guys. And keep on gel pressing. Bye.